The visit to Ertural, uh, I would say, was one of the most memorable Sohba experiences ever. Memorable for many reasons. One reason is my family is mildly addicted to watching Ertural. And so when I told my kids about the prospect of visiting Ertural, they went wild. One other reason is that we in the Sohba experience in Turkey, we are enjoying the fruits of the life of this man. We are enjoying such a wonderful, uh, beautiful, spiritual, safe uh, environment here in Istanbul and in Turkey and that this is due in so many ways to the blessings and the grace that Allah sent through this man used as an instrument of the divine plan. And so the visit from beginning to end was a feast, a spiritual feast of meaning for me and for my children. We made our way to Sout, uh, which is the resting place of Ertural. And uh, when we went there, I must say it was truly an experience of meeting in a spiritual way this great Islamic figure in our history and a figure that has now become through uh, the global communication and media someone who represents the beautiful values, the strength, the courage, the grace, the mercy, the justice, the benevolence that we as a Muslim community, as a global Muslim Ummah seem in such dire need of. And uh, seeing him represented in the Ertural series was in many ways a, a prelude and an introduction to that meeting. And after that, very interestingly, we were trying to find the resting place of the teacher of Ertural. His relationship with his teacher was incredibly profound, very real and very poignant. So much so that at his maqam, the advice of Ertural to his son was that um, I, I give you this teacher, Sheikh Adab Ali, uh, to revere uh, as, as my gift to you. And that if you disobeyed me, you would merely hurt me. But if you hurt him, my eyes will never look at you again. And a tremendous uh, bond between him and his teacher is now being passed down between Ertural and his son. So then on the way to the maqam of Sheikh Adab Ali, we got lost. And we tried to find our way. And ultimately we ended up in front of this incredible scene of nature. And Sheikh Bukhtar uh, stopped the bus and he walked out and we spent what felt like an eternity was probably 15 or 20 minutes in silent reflection in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then that in some way prepared us or prepared me intellectually and spiritually, emotionally to meet now the man that made Ertural. So we finally found the maqam of uh, Sheikh Adab Ali and the maqam itself was in some way carved from that panorama where we sat and observed. The maqam is almost on a cliff, uh, perched on a canyon. And the bottom of the canyon, you can hear the flowing water. And the vista of that itself is awe-inspiring. And uh, when we saw that scene as we approached his maqam, what came to our hearts was truly he was Adab Ali, that this is a lofty, sublime station that was represented even in the place where Allah finally uh, decreed that he be buried and that people visit. And um, then to connect, I think the entire day in the divine plan, in the divine scheme, enjoying the material bounties, 
to the man that Allah chose to make it happen, to the man who shaped the man, to the sheikh who shaped Ertral and made him who he was, molded his character, molded his akhlaq, his inner, his inner virtues, his character, and the name says it all, Sheikh Adab Ali, the Sheikh of exalted character and exalted etiquette, the message to teach us as we've been learning and what is really the essence of the Sohba program is experiential Tawheed, that is a, a relationship with Allah and His unity that is lived, that is felt, that is experiential and that that must be represented in my character and in my etiquette. As though the gifts that Allah had given to Ertral and nay the Ottoman Empire itself is founded upon, was founded, was shaped upon akhlaq that is noble, that is exalted, that is sublime, represented in the name of his Sheikh, Sheikh Adab Ali. So it was in so many ways a journey and a loop back through uh, the sacred knowledge that we've been learning in the Sahba and what is really at the essence of our learning with Sheikh Mukhtar.